How many stereoisomers can we draw for 2-chlorobutane? Feel free to try this problem. So butane has four carbons, and we have a chlorine atom on carbon 2. Now, we could put the chlorine atom in the front, or we could put it in the back. And so we can draw two stereoisomers for the molecule 2-chlorobutane. Now, these two stereoisomers, they're enantiomers because they have the opposite configuration at their chiral centers, and they don't have an internal plane of symmetry. Now, let's try another example. So let's say we have 2-bromo-3-chloro-pentane. So draw all possible stereoisomers with this name or this structure. So we have pentane, and on carbon 2, we have a bromine atom, and then we have a chlorine atom on carbon 3. So because we have two chiral centers, we can draw potentially up to four stereoisomers. It's 2 to the n, or 2 squared, so 2 squared is 4, where n is the number of chiral centers. So we can keep the bromine atom on the wedge and put the chlorine atom on a dash. And so this will give us a different stereoisomer. So what is the relationship between these two? These two, let's call this compound one and compound two. Compounds one and two are diastereomers because only one chiral center change, but not all of them. So now we could change the chiral center with the bromine atom now let's put the chlorine atom back on the wedge. So let's call this compound 3. So compounds 1 and 3, they're diastereomers because only one chiral center has changed. What's the relationship between compounds 2 and 3? Notice that both chiral centers have changed their configuration, so 2 and 3 are enantiomers. Now we can draw one more stereoisomer. And so let's put the bromine atom in the back and the chlorine atom, we're going to put it in the back as well. We're going to make it go into the page. So 1 and 4, they're enantiomers. All of the chiral centers have changed. They have no internal plane of symmetry. 2 and 4 are diastereomers because they differ by only one chiral center, and 3 and 4 are also diastereomers. Now let's work on another example. So let's say we have 1, 2, dibromo, cyclohexane. So let's draw all the stereoisomers that we can for this particular molecule. So let's make this carbon 1, and we're going to make this carbon 2. So that's the first stereoisomer. Now for the second one, let's change one of the chiral centers. So these two are diastereomers. This is, let's call this compound one, compound two. And now let's change both of the chiral centers. So this is compound 3. Notice that 2 and 3 are diastereomers, but what about 1 and 3? What's the relationship? Notice that 1 and 3, they are meso compounds. We have an internal plane of symmetry. These two are the same. And so 1 and 3, because they're meso compounds, they are identical. So this is just 1 single compound. Now there's one more stereoisomer that we can draw. And so it's this one. Notice that these two, compound three and compound, I mean compound two and compound four, they're enantiomers because all of the chiral centers have changed 
and there's no internal plane of symmetry. So 2 and 4 are enantiomers, and 1 and 3 are mesocompounds. 1 and 2 are diastermers, and 3 and 4 are also diastermers. So we have a total of three stereoisomers, one, two, and this is just one molecule, so three.